I'm Joe from the ISC. Um, I don't often speak much because, quite frankly, I don't have much to say. Um, but when I do speak, I try to speak the truth. Um, I pray before I speak. And I ask God to guide me with the truth of the Holy Spirit in everything I do. And I try to keep God at the forefront of anything I say. So I want to start out with this. A, a little bit of Bible reading. Something people don't often do these days. People want to give you their opinions, but they don't want to give you what God has to say about anything. Okay, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, starting with verse 1. And let's begin. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill. And a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, and no, that is not the COVID. That is a time to embrace and and to come together and a time to refrain for fasting and prayer. A time to embrace, to come together and fellowship. Okay, so it has nothing to do with COVID or anything like that or this virus. Now let's get back to it. A time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Now, Mr. President, all the Republicans that are higher up, all the people out here that are in power, I want to ask you this. What is the rationale? Where is the common sense in letting a whole entire city burn? Entire cities, plural, burn. Where is the rationale in that? I ask you. The reason I ask you that, and I get what you're doing. You're wanting the whole entire United States to see just how radical this left has become and how far they're willing to take this. So we can easily win this election. You don't got to do this. We can win this election anyway. There's people dying for no reason. There is people dying for, for no cause. There is people dying just because they're Christians and just because they're trying to stand up for something they believe in. There people, there's people dying for you, Mr. President. There's people dying because they got your hat on with your name on it. So, where's the rationale in setting back and let entire cities burn? What do you want? Do you want the governors to, to suddenly bow down and to cry out, Trump, 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 send in the troops? Is that what you want? They're not going to do it. They're demons. They're devils. They're all devils. Anybody that would send a bunch of COVID patients into an entire bunch of cities of old folks' homes to kill out the entire old population and every one of them without even letting them know that these people have COVID to begin with when you first sent them in. Those are demons. They're demonically possessed. Okay, so where's the rationale? Now, what's happening here is where nobody's doing nothing about this and you're letting the governors and you're letting the mayors handle their own cities. Yeah, you're making a point. I get, and I get your point. Okay, your point's been made. I told my wife three weeks ago. I told my wife probably two months ago. The point's been made. It's time to shut this down. It's time to stop this at this point. So what do we do? We need to go ahead and send in people and shut, shut this down. I don't mean send in a bunch of patriots and a bunch of people just take up arms that are used to be veterans and used to be people in the military. I mean, 
to send in your people that are active duty, your people that are FBI, CIA, DEA, ATF, all, send in all those black ops, this and that, and shut this down. You can do this overnight. You've said this on TV live. You can do this overnight. We, you have proven this up in Portland and different places. You can stop this immediately. So do it. We've seen enough of the left's ignorance. We've seen enough of this anarchist attitude and this demonic movement. We've seen enough of it. You're letting them get momentum. Once they get momentum and the pendulum swings far enough, it's not going to swing back to peace. It's game over. America is nothing but embers. That's how this ends up. American embers, game over. No president, no nothing, no nation, no nothing, nobody. Nobody to help, nobody to call, no 911, nothing. Starvation, famine, pestilence, just like the Bible says. So you're setting it up exactly the way it's supposed to go. But you know what? If we would all repent, if we would all at least try to do something good for one another, this, this nation could go on so, so many more years. But it probably won't because everybody's so haughty, everybody's so prideful. Everybody wants to start firing off rounds at each other because everybody's angry. That's that's unnecessary. There's a time for war and a time for peace, a time for hate. There's a time for love. There's a time to weep and a time to laugh. This is all unnecessary. There's a time to embrace and come together as brothers and sisters. And there's a time to refrain And just go ahead and stay apart from each other for a while and let things cool off if we have to. But this is unnecessary, Mr. President. we we got to put a stop to this. Now, I'm going to end it by saying this because I want to keep this short. Exhort. Exhort. Do something for God daily. Do something for God daily. You know, looking back on my life, the only things I've done that really have ever really mattered are the things that I've done for God. The Lord, it's those things that really matter. All else is vanity and vexation of the Spirit, as the preacher so eloquently puts it in Ecclesiastes, if you read it. If you'll take time to open that dusty Bible and read it. But I'll end with saying this. Exhort, again, do something for God daily, and all else that you do will fall perfectly into place. You put everything else before God, and your entire existence will be full of chaos. Mark my words. Good day. God bless you. Pray for me. The Lord knows I need it. I need much prayer, and I pray in Jesus' name that he keep you safe and out of trouble and give you health, peace, and happiness. And for for goodness sakes, people, let's pray for this nation. And it's not time to sit back and wait for everybody to cry out help. It's time to go ahead and send in the troops and get things done. Take care, good day, and God bless. I'm Gerald from the ISC.